Shalom, shalom. This is the brother Daniela coming back again with another lesson. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Arakakwadash, the born of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect brothers and sisters. This truth and that fear in the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father and His Son. And, um, Basically, I uh, just wanted to do a quick video on um, marriage. All right. What is marriage? Okay. Um, and basically, when you go, when you get down to it, uh, sex is marriage. Now, we can look up the word real quick in the etymon. All right. Etymology dictionary. Um Let's look at the word marriage. Okay. So marriage is the action of entering into wedlock. Also, state or condition of being husband and wife, matrimony, also a union of a man and a woman for life by marriage. A particular matrimonial union, right? Um, marriage uh, from the Latin with uh, maritatisium, maritatis, past participle, maritare, uh, uh, to wed, marry, give in marriage. All right. Give in marriage. All right. Uh, Meritus, married man, husband. Right. So, a when you when you think about it too, the word husband means uh, a planter. All right. And what does a man do with his wife? He he plants his. Uh, his rod into his woman, all right, and also he plants his seed inside a woman and produces what children. So in order to be married, okay, sex has to take place, you know, and which wasn't really much here in terms of uh, the word marry. Right, but the word husband was involved. Right, but let's get an example of the scriptures. With one of our forefathers. Genesis chapter 24, verse 67. And Isaac brought her into, into his mother's into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her, and Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. So how did Rebekah become Isaac's wife? Did he take her in the tent? To play patty cake, you know, to play checkers or to to uh, to to uh, sing songs to her, you know. No, he he took her in his mother's tent and he had sex with her and made her his wife. Okay. Um, Let me see here. The other uh, versions here to read. 
Isaac brought her into the tent of his mother, Sarah, and married Rebecca. But how did that happen? Through the act of sex. Did they go into the tent and there was a there was a priest there and said, you may now kiss the bride. And they put rings on the finger and he, no, no, that's not what happened. He had sex with Rebecca and therefore that became his wife. Um, right, right. So it's through the act of sex. Now let me see if I can find. Um, let me see here. We're gonna go to the. What's the name of the? Uh, Zondervan. Zondervan. Bible. Dictionary Oh, I guess they do got it Online Nope Marriage definition, yes. I believe I uh, when I looked this up before there was a uh a picture of the passage when it talked about uh, marriage. But uh, when you go into the Donovan's Bible Dictionary, it, it gives you the definition of marriage on how it's nourished, all right, and consummated through the act of sex. Uh, I'm going to read this real quick. It says, marriage, an intimate and complementing union between a man and a woman in which two become one physically. How do they physically become one? A man comes together. And has sex with his woman. Physically. In the whole life. The purpose of marriage is to reflect the relationship. Of the Godhead. And to serve him. Although. The fall. The fall has married the divine purpose of function. Have marred. The divine purpose of function of marriage. This definition reflects uh, yada yada yada. It's okay. So the first part was was correct, right? Physically coming together. Now you know it it, it is it does you know have a more spiritual sense too on how uh, you know a woman takes on the spirit of the man you know that uh, has uh, sex with her or marries her so to speak, right? But true marriage is sex. It's not um. You know, uh, going through uh, a, a, a ceremony with the rings and the this and the that. You know, if you want to be technical, it's any uh, woman that you lay with. Okay. <laughs> really, that's her version. That's your wife. Now, this is this was the whole controversy between... Um, Mary and Joseph. I'll just go there real quick too. I want to get some more precepts. I'll go there real quick. Uh, so this is Matthew's chapter one. We're gonna to go to verse uh, eighteen, right? Because even the birth of our Lord was a very controversial one, right? It says, "Now the birth of 
our sorry now the birth of Yahweh Hamashiach was on this wise this is this is in the way that it happened when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph all right before they came together meaning before their families came together you know she was found with child of the Holy Spirit she was found with a child according to the prophecy okay according to the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai that this child was going to be born okay there shall come a root out of the stem of Jesse meaning what that that's that's a fulfillment of prophecy of Isaiah 11 right so um now let's get the word espoused right the word espoused we're gonna go here so espoused in uh, definition Right, adopt or support. Right here, archaic to marry. Edward had espoused a uh, lady gray to marry. Okay. So once again, they met Joseph and Mary already had sex before the families got together for the celebration. Because there would be a celebration, you know, a week long celebration. All right, for the new, the uh, the the new newly wedded, okay, and you know they would celebrate, but you know at the end they will consummate the marriage with sex in the nuptial chambers, okay. Um, let me get that nuptial chambers Bible. Right, an example of that is um, our forefather Jacob. Let's see here. For a second, marriage customs in the Bible. Nub Shaul Chamber. Right, um, so here, let me see here. Customs of, of betrothal and marriage in the Old Testament, right? I was trying to find something on the nuptial chambers, but I guess we can just um get those precepts though. Um, So let me read some of this here. Marriage. It says uh, the public acknowledgement, because yes, it would be known to the public that this is this man's woman. All right. Or this woman is husband, or is his wife to this man. All right, it says the public acknowledgement of the merit marital relationship was an important feature of many ceremonies which surrounded the occasion of marriage. The wearing of distinctive clothes. So there is distinctive clothes that let you know that a woman is married. 
distinctive clothes that let you know that she's a harlot. That's why our forefather Judah thought that Tamar was a harlot because of what she was wearing. Distinctive clothing that let you know that a woman is a widow. Okay? That's called order.